Hi there, my name is Neil Blevins, and this lesson is called What is a Pitch Book? So a little while ago, I mentioned a pitch book online, and several people hadn't heard the term before. So for this lesson, I will discuss what it is, what you can find in one, how they are used, and some examples. So what is a pitch book? A pitch book is generally a short booklet that contains a proposal for a TV show, film, or video game using words and images, which you use when you're pitching your idea to an executive. Then you leave it with them so they can consider whether they want to fund the project or not. In the olden days of film production, you tend to write a script for a film and then send it to the film studio hoping it'll get picked. But with many modern films, and most AAA video games, having a strong visual component, especially in sci-fi and fantasy, it's more common now to include images along with your written proposal to immerse the executive in the world you're trying to sell. So a pitch book can also be called a show bible or a pitch bible, However, a show bible can also mean a document you create after the show is already in production to help clarify the show, in which case you don't need it to pitch because the executive has already agreed on the project. This is why pitch book is the more common term used. A related idea in video games is called a pitch deck, but rather than being a more detailed book, it's more often a PowerPoint presentation talking about your game idea that includes images to get people excited. So a pitch book usually contains the following. First of all, the word section. So what the project is about, basically an elevator pitch. If sci-fi or fantasy, a description of the races, species, or factions in the world. A description of the world. The characters in the project and their bios. The basic story the characters will experience in the world. Sometimes a sample of the script. And sometimes a backstory, such as a timeline showing major events that happened in the project's universe and when, like a little universe history lesson. On the image side of things, uh, images of the characters, uh, factions, species, creatures, robots, environments, props, vehicles, and weapons. Um, usually some key art showing exciting moments in the narrative. And then sometimes style guide information. Like for example, uh, species A is organic shapes, all of species B is box-like, species C has brutalist architecture, that sort of stuff. Uh, if the project is stylized, some artwork showing how it'll be stylized. And uh, for a pitch book, this is usually quite short, so a deeper discussion of the material would appear in an art bible that you'd uh, write after the project is already greenlit. So while you could keep this content as a PDF or an email, there are advantages to producing an actual book. There's something really nice about a physical thing you can hold in your hands, and it helps make the project more tangible to the executive. So here's a fictitious example. Say I have an idea to do a reboot of the classic sci-fi film Forbidden Planet. I write the first scene in the film as a script, then I hire three concept artists to produce artwork for the characters and the environments and some key moments, like the scene where the space explorers are fighting the id monster with the force field. I then have a layout artist create a 30-page book with the art, the script, and the written information of the pitch. I then have 40 copies printed. I then go to a meeting with an executive at a major film studio. I go in with a book, I give them a verbal pitch of what the project is, I show them artwork that's in the book, and then I leave the book with them. Then they uh, mull over it for a while to decide if they want to produce the project. Maybe they'll even forget about the project for a few weeks. But then one day they randomly see the pitch book in a pile somewhere in their office, grab it and flip through it and say to themselves, you know, this project is an excellent idea. And then they call you and the project gets funded. It's of course far more complex than that, but that should give you the basic idea of how a pitch book fits into selling your project. So let's look at some real world examples. As far as I know, one of the first pitch books was made by filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky, who decided to make an adaptation of the book Dune as a film in 1974. He hired Mobius, who is a very famous French illustrator, to create storyboards for the entire film, and then made a book of the storyboards, and then shopped that around the various film studios. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about this story, definitely watch the documentary Jodorowsky's Dune. Not only does it have more information about the pitch book, but it's just a really fascinating story. Since then, many films have been sold to studios using pitch books. In fact, some companies produce pitch books as part of their normal business for directors and producers. So another recent example is from Javier Grillo Markswash, producer and writer at the Jim Henson Company, who worked on shows such as Lost and The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I did some pitch art for one of his projects called Skyborne, which was successfully sold to Universal before sadly being cancelled. 
And there's a link in the description of this video to the pitch and lookbook to get some idea of what's inside one of these pitch books and what it can look like. I don't think this material was ever turned into an actual physical book, but it has the same format. So pitch books that aren't technically pitch books. There are many examples of pitch books that don't follow the standard format, or pitch books that serve dual purposes, and pitch books that were never meant to be pitch books in the first place. For example, artist Simon Stallenhag created a series of narrative art books that started with Tales from the Loop, which contained both narrative and art that represented the story. And then the book was sold to the public, and then the book was handed around Hollywood, and eventually Amazon picked up the rights to it and produced a TV series based on the books. So Simon was talking on Twitter, and he said, I never expected it to be handed around in Hollywood. I would have never had the stamina to finish it if the goal was to impress studio people. I created it as an independent work of fiction, and it took me about three years to complete. The TV show was just an unexpected bonus. So while not exactly the format of a pitch book, although it's still a combination of uh, written word and images, and it was never intended to be a pitch book, it ended up doing the same job. And the fact that fans worldwide loved the book I'm sure was also a factor. Uh, a TV show or a film studio is more likely to buy something if they know it's already popular and has a built-in audience. So if you're making a pitch book that you want to use with executives, you could also consider releasing the book or a variation of the book publicly to get fan support. Another example is Timeless by Armand Balthazar. He wrote and illustrated a young adult novel that's available for sale, and the work served as a pitch book that got him a film deal. In fact, the film deal actually happened before the book was even completed. If you're interested in hearing his story, the uh, Art Department podcast did a whole interview with him, and I've included a link to that in the description. Another of my two favorite examples are Ex Odyssey by Steambot Studios, published by DSP, and Robota by Doug Chang. Both were used to pitch films and video game projects, as well as being sold as actual books. Sadly, neither one of these has gone beyond their book form. And finally, my narrative art book, The Story of Ink, which I made with Bill Zahn, Stefan Bugai, and a bunch of other artists, is basically the same thing. The story portion of the book is formatted like a film script, and the first half of the book contains paintings of all the key moments in the story. Then the back of the book has design paintings of all the characters and the world. So the book was published and is being enjoyed by fans, but at the same time, the project is being shopped around Hollywood, with the book and its story and artwork being used as part of the pitch. Anyways, hopefully that clears up what a pitch book is, and maybe you'll see the advantage of making your own one day if you want to try and get one of your projects sold. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, if you want more art-related tutorials, feel free to go to neilblevins.com and go to the Art Lessons area. Or, if you want to be notified the next time I post a new video like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.